how tiny these are. I can't. It is officially, officially finished. I'm ready for this baby. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. We are on part three of nesting vlogs. So if you have not already seen parts one and two, I have a playlist on my channel. Make sure you go watch those. I will also have them linked in the description for you, but definitely go watch those first because we're just jumping right in to part three and kind of continuing where I left off. If you're new here, my name is Emma. I would love for you to subscribe, especially if you are just watching a ton of nesting vlogs, which is what I have been doing lately. I'm starting this vlog out and about, obviously. On my list, the biggest thing I really, really want to look for, I don't know if I'm going to find everything I'm looking for but I am desperately trying to finish this nursery really the last thing I have left in the nursery is finding things for the walls I have just been stumped I have a bunch of random stuff that I have been collecting not really collecting even just like random home decor that I didn't want to get rid of that is sitting in my basement that I thought might go cute with the colors in our nursery but nothing that I've actually bought for the nursery. And it's kind of driving me bananas and I really just want the nursery to be done. I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby, I might go thrifting. We'll kind of see how much time we end up having. And then if I have time, I'd also like to stop by Old Navy and look at outfits for postpartum. I've been scrolling on Amazon and online shopping this morning. I haven't bought anything yet, so I wanna go into Old Navy and see what they have in stores. And I'm just looking for like some cozy hospital outfits, postpartum outfits, but we don't have a lot of time, so let's get going. was a success. I am so happy. I ditched the whole postpartum outfits idea because I found a couple things I really liked for the nursery and I decided to just run with it and I didn't have a ton of time. So we got nothing. I didn't even look for outfits. I just went to several stores to look for home decor stuff or wall decor stuff for the nursery. So this is what I picked up. I'm going to head home. My mom's actually going to come over and help me because she's very good at like visualizing all that stuff and putting it together and hopefully we can just like knock it out. I really was hoping to kind of have more like unique pieces in the room like thrifted pieces or like artwork or things and I was just struggling to find things that all went together. I really tried for the last couple of months to find things that were more original and like thrifted and not Hobby Lobby pieces but here we are. I found these two little flowers and I just thought they were so sweet. I have no idea what I want to do with them, where I'm going to put them, if they're going to be together or separate, or if I'll use one and not the other. I just thought they were so cute. They have um, beads, but then the middle is like rattan, and I just think it's so pretty. I don't know why, but I just fell in love with this piece. It's really hard to show you. It's just perfect. Like, I love the flowers. The colors are exactly what I have in there, the greens and the pinks, and like little pops of like creams and yellows and then I went to a couple thrift stores I didn't find anything that really spoke to me but I did go to TJ Maxx I'm obsessed with this I don't know why I just think it's so beautiful the frame is really really pretty and dainty and then it has these butterflies and her crib sheets have forest animals butterflies greenery so I thought I could kind of incorporate some of the butterflies with that and then I did also grab I'm thinking like maybe gallery wall vibes I also grabbed this pretty gold frame from um, TJ Maxx as well and I'm planning this might actually look like it looked really pretty in there maybe I'll keep the picture but I have found a couple of really really beautiful prints from Etsy that I would love to put in here I found one of like these little deer that I think I could put in here and kind of incorporate either on a wall on its own or in like a gallery wall with some of this stuff last Thing. I'm just gonna stick on her side table. It's this pretty butterfly gold frame just for some color and I could either again find like a really pretty Etsy print or an actual picture of baby girl and Jordan or something. I feel like it all goes together really pretty. It's very dainty and girly but all very like nature-y but I'm very excited that I actually have something to work with because I want this nursery done yesterday.
a ridiculous amount of time. The good news is we have a beautiful little gallery wall now on this side. And this was the wall that was really throwing me off and tricking me for some time. So I am very happy with it. I'll do a little close up in a second. And then I have this cute little frame on the side table next to the rocking chair. Let me just show you. Okay, here's what we are working with so far. So this is really all that I accomplished today, but I love it anyway. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this here just cause I think it might be a lot with like the two different flower patterns and the flower things here. These three are all from Hobby Lobby. This is the TJ Maxx frame and I found this print on Etsy and this was actually kind of the inspiration for a lot of this theme was this picture. I just think it's so sweet. This, I am so obsessed with it. I got it sent to me and gifted to me from Janessa. I'll put her Instagram handle right here. She has the most beautiful artwork. It is Psalm 23 and I just love it so much. So I knew I wanted it displayed somewhere in the nursery. So this is what it looks like and I love it. So now what I'm debating as of right now maybe, I have a couple of floating shelves that my mom's gonna strip or paint for me. And I'm gonna see what that looks like there with some books and decorations and things. And then this corner might just be fine without anything behind it because it has all of this going on. So that's where we're at. We're back. We actually just had a little baby shower at Michael's work, which was so kind. We got a bunch of diapers and a bunch of gift cards. So I just like organized all the diapers downstairs and now I have a bunch of gift cards to use. That was kind of like the last thing for me to check off before making any final baby purchases. The dishwasher also just finished and I have a bunch of Jordan's baby bottles that I washed, which I think I'm gonna keep them and just try them because I have them. I do need to purchase new nipples because I've heard those need to be repurchased. Can't remember if it was in the last nesting vlog or this one <laughs> earlier, but I think it was in the last nesting vlog last week. But I said I didn't store them great and you can kind of tell they're like a little bit stained and like discolored. I don't know if that's a bad thing, my thought process though is I have a bunch of them. I wanna just buy new nipples, try them out, and if she takes the best to these, I'll just get newer, nicer ones. Like I might get the glass version. I'm also going to snag, I think Philips Avent, like the natural flow I think is what I'm gonna try. Anyways, my point is right now what I'm going to work on since all these bottles are now sanitized and washed, you're sitting in front of our cabinet that I used to store Jordan's bottles. And then when she transitioned, into food and off of bottles. Now it's still Jordan's cabinet, it just has like her medicine. Cause I can just show you. It is not organized whatsoever, but I just have all of her medicine up here. And usually I have her bibs, her cups, um, and her plates and stuff. I did already move all of her plates and bowls over with ours. So that's out of the way. Here's everything that was in there. And like I said, I already took out her plates and her bowls, so this is what was left. Um, so now I need to figure out how to make all these tiny pieces fit in a functional way, because the problem is I can barely reach. Actually, I probably move this down, it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna do that. So that I can actually reach things. Wow, why have I never done this? I can actually like fit things up there now. Problem is I feel like I need like some clear bins to kind of sort things and then I can like pull down what I need, like medicine and stuff. And I don't think I have any extras. I found a bin. So I'm just gonna throw all this in here for now. I don't need to have cute bins. My toxic trait is that I feel like I need to have cute bins. Here's at least that. I'm back with some fun packages I wanted to unbox with you. These are from Pat Pat and I wanted to thank them for sponsoring today's video. If you've never heard of Pat Pat, they are a children's like clothing company. I feel like everything that you could possibly need, you can find on their website. I needed some stuff for both of the girls. Let's open them up. Let's start with the stuff I got for Jordan because there's significantly less. Got her these, um, I actually got her these in two different colors. I got them in black 
and in white. I thought these would be perfect for church this summer. And just when she's wearing dresses and like things that are a little bit nicer because all she owns right now is Crocs and some dirty sneakers. So I thought these were just adorable and so affordable for how beautiful they are and such good quality. And then I also got her another pair of sneakers just because we are always getting our sneakers dirty. And again, super affordable, really, really cute, good quality. And then the only other thing that I got for her is I think what I'm the most excited for. I got her and baby sis a little matching sweater set. How cute. Also, this sweater, super, super affordable such high quality but I got one for Joe in a 3t and then I also got one for baby sis in zero to three months so that they can match this winter after baby's here the rest of this is for baby girl got these adorable parachute kind of shorts got her this little dress I grabbed this adorable romper can you even handle the denim got her these cute little khaki shorts with this really beautiful flower detailing. They also had a lot of really cute sets and I am a sucker for a matching set. So got her this um, t-shirt and short set that's some suns. I really loved the color of this and the pattern. And then I also got this tank top onesie and these shorts. It also comes with a little bow. I also love a good waffle knit. And then the last couple things that I picked up, these are both six to nine, so this will be like the fall time. I got her a couple um, like <laughs> jumpsuit rompers, which I thought would be so cute because I love to wear these. Can you imagine if I throw like a little long sleeve onesie under this? So cute. So I got one in black. And then I also got this pretty pink one. Make sure you check out Pat Pat. They have so much good stuff on their website. They have different like characters if your kids are obsessed with certain characters. They have a ton of really cute items in their character shop. And they also just have anything you could be looking for, whether it's really simple or a specific piece like for a holiday. Anything you could possibly need for baby clothes at a great price. Price. So they were also so kind to give me a discount code for you guys So if you click the link in the description and use my code Emma 15 you can get 15% off of your pat pat order I will also link all the things that I purchased down below if you want to purchase it as well Thank you so much again to pat pat for working with me on today's video on the agenda for today's nesting is One I want to cut all the tags off this wash this also want to wash today my floppy cover Which I actually just ordered a brand new cover. That's one way Way cuter. I actually bought this from somebody when we had Jordan. This is not my style. I got one that matches her crib sheets and I also think it might be a better material. I think the purpose is that it's supposed to be very water resistant and like wipeable but I feel always felt like Jordan like slid off of it and I've been asking on Instagram for y'all's opinions on boppy versus like the breast friend pillow or any other kind of nursing pillow. If you have a strong opinion towards either let me know but I think I'm just gonna keep the boppy this time and see if I can get a different cover that she doesn't fall off of as much that's not quite as slippery I'm still gonna go ahead and wash this cover though I'm also going to wash the love every play mat which I love this thing the play gym and all it's just the best and I love that I can throw this in the wash and it's been sitting in a box in the basement for two years so it needs a good wash and then I'm also going to wash my snuggle me cover the other thing I want to do today is hang up these floating shelves I think I'm gonna hang them on the wall behind the rocking chair rather than over the crib the people that owned this home before actually left these in their nursery but they were wood they were a very old not very cute wood my mom painted them for me so I'm gonna hang them up today hopefully aka Michael's going to hang them for me and then I can kind of style them and then I think the nursery itself will pretty much be done. Michael also just had, I talked about that, right? Baby shower. And I placed a huge order with a bunch of gift cards that they gave us, which was such a blessing. So I got a bunch of bottles. I got new bottle nipples. I got just like a bunch of little things that I've been waiting to purchase. I know I also bought newborn diapers, you guys. So now this bin actually has diapers in it. And I can also put some of these and I will put some of these in the like bedside cart and in the baskets I made to go around the house. But look how tiny these are. I think every nesting vlog I see when they unbox newborn diapers, they're like, oh my gosh, they're so small. No, you never get over it because are you kidding? Especially when I know what Jordan's diapers look like. I can't.
It's the next day. I wanted to wait until it was daylight to show you what I ended up doing with the shelves because of course it took me far longer than I anticipated to get those shelves done and it was dark and the lighting was terrible and I also wanted to give you a little nursery tour in the daylight because it is officially, officially finished which just feels so good I can't even describe how great it feels to just say that it's done. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the shelves and then do a very quick nursery tour and then there's just a couple other things i need to do in this nesting vlog and we are finished this is what i came up with for the shelves so like i mentioned these were actually left by the previous owners and i saw on pinterest when i was trying to find inspiration for what to hang up on my shelves that a lot of the times people will like flip one of them upside down like this and hang things to add just a little bit of like length and dimension and i loved it so i went ahead and flipped one of them and i think it looks really really cute on this one i have just a fake plant this mirror is actually from the walmart's like dollar section and then i have her little name plate which i obviously turned around so you can't see that is the etsy store though that it's from i just think it adds a really pretty personalized detail and then on this shelf i hung two little outfits this one was actually delilah lepke she's a youtuber that's her merch that my best friend got me when i had jordan and it was just one of my favorite onesies ever and it's my favorite him it's literally tattooed on me as well and i just love the butterfly like i think it goes so well with this room and then i actually did my gender reveal with this little onesie so i thought that would be sweet and i love the color and then up here, this is the frame that I got from TJ Maxx, which was sitting on this side table, but I feel like it makes a lot more sense actually up here because Jordan won't mess with it. And I just think it's really pretty. Um, and then this print is something I just found on Pinterest and literally printed off. This is a silicone like stacking baby toy from Amazon. And then this little vase is also from the Walmart dollar section. So that's what they turned out like. It might shift and change as time goes on, but I really think it just brings the whole room together. It's very dainty and sweet and fits the little theme so well. So now let's kind of take a step back and do a very quick overview of what the room is looking like. Here's the gallery wall. I am still obsessed with it. I think I do like this changing pad, even though it's a lot of different flower patterns. Let me know what you think. I've tried it just white, and I just think it's so much prettier with the flowers. This is done. I have diapers, wipes, swaddles, newborn pajamas, zero to three months pajamas, and then pants from newborn through zero to three. Her diaper pail, um, I love, love, love these four books so i have some baby books in there this lamp is from amazon i did go ahead and grab the love every play mat i love this thing it also has like a play gym to put over it but i'm gonna wait and build that when she's just a smidge older i did wash this and grab that here's what the crib is looking like obviously these won't stay this is the new boppy cover that i bought and you guys it's literally <laughs> the exact same as her crib sheets i thought when i was looking at this on amazon like, oh, that'll go so well. It looks so similar. I didn't realize it's literally the same print, <laughs> which is perfect. And then the other side is really, really sweet and cute as well. And this material is so much softer and better than the old one I had. So I'm very, very excited for this. It was super inexpensive. I can link it. And then my snuggle me. I have her little monitor already set up. And the side table that just has the hatch. And a little lamp. Um, the glider that I am still obsessed with. This has become like my favorite editing spot <laughs> because it's so comfortable. And then in her closet, this is what it looks like in here. So lots of clothes. I only went up to zero to three. I did a few three to six, but not very much. This picture, I don't know why it's really hard to show you it with the reflection, but I thrifted it. I loved it and it just didn't end up really flowing with the rest of the room, even though it was very much on theme. So I just have it here and I really like that I can still see it when I look in her closet. I have my cube organizers with just, uh, I don't even know what's in here. Okay, nothing's in there. Um, this is full of pacifier clips, bows, baby socks. This one has baby toys um, and thing teethers, things like that that I'm not going to need for a little while. This is just a bunch of extra. So my extra boppy cover, extra breast milk storage bags, extra... Um, nursing pads again more random extras i have an extra pack of wipes i have these 
month milestone cards. I have extra pump parts. Just, oh, the Owlette sock. Um, lots of random things. And then this one has rib cloths and bibs. I have her baby bath in the back right there. Um, this is her laundry basket. And then I hung up all of my carriers. So I have a wrap, I have a ring sling, and then I have this like baby Bajorn or whatever you call it. That's the closet. And that's the nursery, you guys. It is done. It is complete. I can check it off of my list and it just feels so good. Now that I can officially cross the nursery off of my to-do list, which just feels so great. The only thing left to do, I need to pack my hospital bag, which I'm not going to do in this video. I think I'm going to make a whole separate video, but I have been kind of like collecting things as I think about it, as I see them and throwing them in a big pile. So we're started on that. I'm really not in a huge rush with that because I still want to use a lot of things that I'm packing. I need to set up our bassinet, which I'm going to do here in a second just because it'll be easy and quick hopefully <laughs> and then the last thing is installing our stroller seat which again I'm gonna wait because we're still taking walks and I really really don't want to push around a double stroller while I am nine months pregnant because it's hard enough to push around a single stroller I think that just would be silly because it'll take five minutes to add the seat on when she's actually born and then the very very last thing will be the car seat which I think I'm gonna wait on that too I don't think I'm gonna do that today in this video because it's again gonna take five minutes to install um it's very very simple it's out and ready to roll in the basement I just need to literally take it upstairs and install it that's probably something we're gonna do the week of our c-section and if something happens where I go to the hospital earlier going to labor or whatever it'll take us five minutes I'm not that worried about it everything else though will be ready so let's go install the bassinet install let's go set up the bassinet we'll see if I can do this without any of Michael's help <laughs> Here she is. I feel very strange about this being put up right now, but I really love this bassinet. I can have it linked. It is from Amazon. It was actually a gift from my in-laws when we had Jordan. Really nice because you can unzip these sides and unlatch it and then it pulls down to be like a bedside bassinet which to be honest we rarely did that but it is nice to have the option so i will have this link down below it is really really nice it's also on wheels and i'm excited that this is officially set up it will probably go next to our bed i need to take the stuff downstairs but it'll probably go right here but it does fit really, really nice right there. It's so weird having this behind me right now because that means it's real. Like, it's really real. That was the last thing on my nesting list, you guys, besides all the things I told you earlier. I'm ready for this baby. At least my space is. Mentally, am I ready? Um, we're having freakouts on the daily at this point. We'll get there. Super exciting. I feel like this was the longest nesting vlog because I was really trying to just cram everything in and get it all done. So, thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end and especially if you watched all three nesting vlogs but if you missed the first two make sure to go watch those i'm not like having a baby this week by any means don't worry but i'm ready to just relax that's really why i'm doing this when i'm doing this is because the further you get in pregnancy the less motivation i feel like i've had and the harder it is physically to do things so i would rather just get everything ready and know that i can relax and not be like anxious and stressed about my impending to-do list we've got a little bit of time still if you are new here and you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe stick around for all my future videos because i'm really excited to document this journey as i become a mother of two especially because when i had my first daughter i was a teaching channel and now i can really take you along with me as i navigate this transition and birth and postpartum and the newborn days and all that stuff i'm so excited to take you guys with me so make sure you subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in the next video bye friends mm -hmm.